In this video, we're going to start using the real power of Excel. We're going to do some calculations. And to do calculations, we need to use formulas. I know formulas may bring back bad memories from high school, but it's, it's the way of doing things in Excel. Excel's not that smart, so we have to put our calculations into formulas that Excel can understand. And we're going to be using the equal sign quite a bit here. We're going to also use a function called the sum function. We're going to use the point and click method to create a formula. We're going to do automatic sums, which will save a lot of time. And we're going to copy a formula using the fill handle, which works really nicely. Okay, here we are in our spreadsheet, and we want to add up these numbers here. Okay, now we could take a calculator out of our pocket and use that, but that's no good. We're using Excel. Excel is the most powerful general purpose calculating tool known to mankind. So let's make use of all the calculation power built into this amazing program. We're going to create a formula. And the first thing about formulas is you always, always start off with an equal sign. So I click in the cell where I want the total to be. And I type an equal sign. And then I could type the numbers themselves. I could type 68991. 0.12, and then I could do a plus, and then I could type in the number 28836. No, you don't want to do this, okay? You don't put numbers into formulas. Why? Because numbers always change, and when numbers change, then you have to change the formulas, which is a lot of work. So what, instead of putting numbers into formulas, we do what? We put the address of the cells that contain those numbers. In other words, we put the cell references of those cells, of those numbers, into the formulas. So I'm going to just hit the backspace key here, get rid of this here, and instead of putting in the numbers, I'm going to put the address of the cells, the cell reference. In this case, the first one is B4. So I just type B4 and do a plus, and then do B5 and do a plus. And I know some of you know a better way of doing this, and we'll get to that very soon, but I want to make a point here, so just follow along for now. Then we do B6 plus and B7. There we go. That's all we need. And you can see they put a little color coding on each of these cell references so we know which cell reference refers to which cell. And that looks pretty nice. When we're finished with the formula, we do what? We have to enter the formula into the cell. To enter the formula into the cell, what key do we press? we press the Enter key. Okay, so we hit the Enter key, that enters the formula into the cell, and you can see there's the result right there, and it looks good, but it's always a good idea to check your formulas. It's very, very easy to make a mistake, so let's check it. Okay, basically, we have 70, about approximately 70,000 in the first cell, approximately 30,000 in the second one. Okay, 70 plus 30 is going to be 100. 100,000. Okay, the next one's 60. 60 plus 100, that's 160,000. And this is 80,000 here. 160 plus 80, that's going to be 240,000. We've got 238,000. Pretty good. Okay, so it's a good idea to check just to make sure it's okay. Okay, it is okay. So now what I want to do is create another formula over here. And, and again, you're going to say, wait, wait, Rich, there's an easy way to do it. Well, yeah, I know. Well, it's, I just want to make a point here. Now, another way to create a formula is instead of typing in the cell references, which is a lot of work, we could say here, we could say equals, and then we can just click, okay, point and click, just click on the cell. Look at that, it puts in the reference right there, do plus. Click on the second one like so, C5, okay, plus, hit the second one here, here we go, plus, and we click on the last one. Okay, same thing, only it's much easier. We didn't have to type the address. We just click on the cells. Now we're finished with the formula again, so we to enter the formula into the cell, we do what? Uh, we just hit the enter key on the keyboard. There we go. Okay, now... <laughs> the easy way to do this, okay? Because we add up numbers all the time in Excel. It happens so, so often in Excel. What Microsoft did is they gave us this nice little button which makes it a lot easier. If we want to add up those numbers there, all we need to do is basically go up here and click the button here. Click this button here. This is the auto sum button. It's a capital Greek sigma. If, if you might remember from mathematics, that's the symbol for totals or sums. And if we just click that button, 
Watch what happens. Click the button. It creates a formula. Look at this, but it's putting this function in there, the sum function, and it's showing four cells there, D4 colon D7. That's a range of cell. When you see a colon in Excel, it's a range, D cells D4 through D7 and every cell in between. And this is the sum function of those cells. Now, sum is a function. Functions always have parentheses, and inside the parentheses is what's called an argument, which is the thing that's going to be used in the function. And so this will give us the sum of those four cells. And if we, again, we, how do we do this? We just hit the Enter key. Puts in the result there, okay? Pretty nice, pretty nice. All right, always a good idea to check it. Basically, we have 100,000 plus 30,000, 130 plus another, that's 230,000 plus, say, another 100, that's 330,000, 313,000. Pretty close, pretty close, pretty close. Okay, good. Now, of course, the easy way to do all these, I'm just going to just select these, select these, like select all the cells. If I want to select a range of cells, what do I do? I click in the middle of the first cell, click in the middle of the first cell, hold the mouse button down and drag it to the right, drag it to the right, like so. We've selected three cells. Now, if we want to delete the contents of those three cells, I just press the delete key on the keyboard and they're gone, okay? Okay, now let's do it the easy way, All right? We click in the cell here, we click on auto sum up here. There it is, hit the enter key. And we take this and we'll copy it to the other cells. Just drag it over across to the right. There we go. That's much easier to do it, right? And that's much easier. Okay. Now, be careful when you do this. Okay. One thing to note when you do this, if I click in the first cell here, the formula is, if I double click, there's the formula, it's cell sum of B4 through B7. Okay. All right. If I go over here, if I just uh, hit the escape key to close that down, if I double click in the next cell, double click in the next cell, it's C4 through C7. It's not the same. The first formula was B4 through B7. This one's C4 through, C4 through C7. When we copy a formula, it doesn't do an exact copy because that's not what we want. We don't want B4 through B7. We want C4 through C7. In column C, we don't want B. We want C. We want all the, all the, all the cell references in column C. So when we copy across, it changes. That's called this relative cell reference. It's the cells relative to where the formula is. These are cells above the formula. So it just wherever we copy the formula, it's always going to include the cells above it. Right? Hit the enter key. What's well, the enter key there? Okay, just to enter that in, and you can see now we have the results there. Okay, good. Well, now if you're if you're if you're ahead of me here, you notice one more thing here, which is we have to put in the totals for each of the products. So we'll go over here. We'll type another label here. Okay, and you notice it automatically it centers it because it just takes the format from the other one and does that as well. Now what I want to do is add up the numbers for exercise bikes for April, May, and June. And I'd like to do it the easy way. So I'm going to go click here and click on the auto sum button again. And look at that. Okay, now normally the auto sum button looks for numbers above the cell and adds those up, but if it doesn't find any numbers there, it looks for numbers to the left. Sure enough, those are the numbers there, and it creates another formula using the function sum equals sum of cells B4 through D4, the range B4 through D4, and that's all we need. We'll just hit the Enter key, and we get that, and then we can just copy this down to the rest of the cells. I can drag this down, but you want to know a shortcut? All I need to do is just double-click. Put my pointer on the fill handle. Put my pointer on the fill handle and double click it. And it goes down there. Good thing that all the way. That's okay. I can grab it down to the next one. There we go. Okay. There we go. So now we have all the calculations done. It looks a little weird, but we'll fix that soon. Now let me show you another shortcut. Okay, let's let's just get rid of this here. Just select this and we'll just delete it. And we'll select these totals right here. Now here's a nice little trick. If we select all the numbers that we want to add up plus the blank cells where we want the totals to be, okay, we're selecting all the numbers that we want to add up plus the blank cells where we want the numbers, the totals to be, okay, if we select those and now, now we go up here and we click on the auto sum button, look at that, look at that, isn't that amazing, okay, fills in all the totals just like that. 
really nice. Okay, now it's always a good idea. Remember to check things. Check things. We've got, uh, what, 70,000 over here, 70 plus approximately 90,000, 70, that's 160,000 plus about 100,000. That'd be 260,000, 255,000. Very close. Okay, so it looks like we have pretty good formulas here. Pretty nice. Okay, and one thing to be to be um, to be aware of and to to uh, make sure to make sure that you have it in your spreadsheets is that similar cells should have similar formulas. All of these formulas here are very similar. Okay, they're all sums of the cells to the left. They're all cells sum of the cells to the left. Okay, and these for these cells here, they're all similar. Well, they have similar formulas. They're all sums of the cells above it. Okay, it's a good thing to do to have all these things the same have similar cells have similar formulas. Okay, so just to review things here, we've got formulas. Okay, we use functions, like the sum function makes it a little easier to create the formula using the sum function, and its functions always have parentheses, and the auto sum button is really good for creating that sum function. It calculates the numbers above the cell, or it calculates the numbers to the left of the cell. And four rules of formulas to keep in mind. Okay, four rules. Always begin with an equal sign. Okay, unless you're using the auto sum, which automatically puts in the equal sign for us. All right. Don't include numbers. Put cell addresses. Okay, when in, when you can, do not include numbers. Why? Because numbers always change. You want to put the number into a cell and then use the address of that cell or the cell reference. Check your formulas. Make sure they're okay, just to be sure, because it's very very easy to make a mistake. And again, similar cells should have similar formulas. All right, now we need to make this look a little better here. Okay, but before we do that, one more thing we need to do is to go over here and just put another another label here. And again, we'll take care of that a little bit later. But now what we want to do, we put a lot of work in here. Let's save our work. So we'll go up here and click on the Save button. And we've saved our work. And now what we'll do is make everything look nice.